the reasons for opening Creator Pro came from very selfish reasons on my behalf. I just, I wanted a place to train, you know, that was easier for me to do and get to. Brian was in between being on the road with WWE and he would often drive an hour and a half to come train with me. With traffic, sometimes like four hours and I was just getting burnt down on doing it and it just kind of stunk. And one night after practice at like a diner, I was eating with Pat. And he said, man, it would be awesome if, you know, one day to have his own school. And I pitched him immediately on the spot. I said, let's, let's open up one. And it was just like this, whoa, moment. opened on March 23rd, 2014. We had a grand opening. First day I walked into Creator Pro Wrestling was the open house. I was very nervous. Uh, I had wrestled before. I brought a pair of wrestling shoes with me and a pair of knee pads. I came with the intent just to check it out. I remember the first day that we wanted to figure out what would the training be like. And the, the best way to do that was to actually feature people I've already trained from scratch. And they had a match there. Uh, with a couple of Pat's students and it's like that could be me and I was hooked. I, I definitely knew that this was the place to be. The second I walked through the front door I fell in love. We signed up that day and haven't looked back. <laughs> through my students I'll see them, you know, go from day one barely doing a good forward roll to having a pretty awesome match. And uh, that metamorphosis like will always blow my mind. Brian Myers and Pat Buck are two different trainers, but they together are the perfect formula for a creative pro wrestling academy. So there was always a Brian day and always a Pat day. And uh, totally different classes, but I, I enjoyed that. Pat is uh, a lot more uh, technical, I would think. And Brian uh, goes through a lot more uh, drills. Uh, we always would call the mom and dad um, just to ourselves. Brian's mom, he's the nice one. He was the one where, you know, if something happened, you're like, Brian, you know, we can explain, but Pat's, Pat's dad. I always knew that here I was bad cop. Pat Buck's definitely more to the point. He, he wants to see results. He wants to see results fast. I think that's part of the reason that a lot of the Creative Bro guys are fast learners because it's not just one guy teaching you. You're learning from uh, you know two main teachers. Without guys like Brian and Pat, um, I wouldn't be the wrestler that I am today. Whether it was hopping in the car with Brian going to an indie promotion in New Jersey, whether it was Pat booking me on his own shows, um, every great opportunity I got is from Brian or Pat. I, I look at those guys like my. Uh, like outside of my immediate family, those guys are like my two dads. I, 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 they're my voices of reason. So when I see my students perform these days, you know, sign with organizations, put on stellar independent matches, start getting a lot of acclaim, a lot of recognition, it's a different kind of warm feeling than it was for my own success. It's, it's, it's cool. When somebody that I'm friends with within the business encounters one of my students in some other way on some other show, and then they text me to say, hey, I wrestled so-and-so. They were phenomenal. Hey, I wrestled so-and-so. What a great attitude. Hey, I wrestled so-and-so. That kid's gonna be a star. Um, that's my favorite, my favorite thing because it's a compliment that, that they weren't seeking and I wasn't seeking that someone felt independently to send to me and then I just know it's genuine. If there was no wrestling in my life right now, I would probably be sitting at a boring desk job. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think, I think that's a crazy question. Probably work in some blue collar job, you know, electrician, plumber. One of those things. Uh, if, if Joe Fitzpatrick wasn't wrestling. I don't know. You know, just probably unhappy. There would just be a void that's not filled. Probably be going to college and doing what every other person in the world does. 
just getting some, getting some job. If I did not have pro wrestling, I would be fat, eating Cheetos, playing World of Warcraft in my office. Depressed. <laughs> you know, making emo songs and, and trying to get on Hot 97 or something. My grandmother was a huge mark, <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, and 